In Scotland, the battle for the future of Britain has not gone away. After success in last year's Holyrood elections, the SNP argued they're determined not to give up on the hope of independence. Whether it's Tory or Labour, Labour or Tory, it's not us who gets to decide. Our votes don't determine who gets to occupy number 10. For Scotland, the problem is not just which party is in power at Westminster. The problem is Westminster. But ultimately, the decision for a second referendum is currently not theirs to take. That's why the battle is moving to London and to hear the UK's Supreme Court. Who will decide if MPs at Westminster or MSPs in Edinburgh should have the final say on another vote? But what if the decision doesn't go their way? Well, that leaves Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP with two big problems. First of all, what do they do next? Particularly when the Prime Minister, Liz Truss, has made it clear that she thinks there shouldn't be another vote anytime soon. And second of all, while the polls are pretty divided in independence, evenly split, only a third of Scots think that now is the right time for another referendum. A lot of people expect the Supreme Court to, to rule against that. And if that's the case, she said that she'll try to turn the next general election into a de facto referendum. Whether she can actually do that, I mean, who can, after all, decide what is the issues of an election campaign? Um, so there's, there's doubts over whether, whether it actually will be a de facto referendum. But I think what Nicola Sturgeon is maybe trying to do on that as well is to retain relevance to try to ensure that her supporters don't vote for Labour instead. So by raising the issue of independence, she might be able to hold on to those pro-independence votes. But for most SNP activists, Nicola Sturgeon must not relent. We will use the Westminster election, the next Westminster election, if the Supreme Court says no, that will be used as a plebiscite referendum. We have that right under international law. Are you frustrated though? With the UK government, absolutely. As she said at the weekend, if, if they are so confident, why not just let it go ahead? What should she do next? What do you want to see her do next? Well, she said she's going to use it for the next general election. Do you think that's going to work, though? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But I hope so. But let's, vote. let's wait and see what the Supreme Court says. Then we'll make a judgment, I think. For the moment, focus will now be on the Supreme Court's hearing... <laughs> With a judgment due to take months, this drawn-out battle is not likely to conclude any time soon. To the frustration of nearly everyone on every side of the debate. Darren McCaffrey, GB News, Aberdeen.